Hello and welcome to this demonstration in which I'm going to show you how you can design this plug for Valentine's Day using Arkham Express 2015 R2. So I'm going to switch on to Arkham and as you can see on the right hand side of the screen I've got no modules installed. That means that you can produce this design using the very basic version of Arkham Express. So, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use an image I've downloaded off the internet to create my vector. So I'm going to open this image. I'm going to click OK on this dialog. And as you can see, it's just a red heart on a white background. So, the first thing I need to do is to create vectors that trace around this shape. Now I can do that by creating polylines, but I could do that in a much quicker way, which is using the bitmap to vector tool. So I'm going to click on this, and the first thing I need to do is to reduce the, um, the number of colors. So I click on reduce colors, and at the moment we have 126 colors, but if I move this bar, and make sure that I've got two colors only. I can click on OK and the model hasn't changed really. So let's set the speckle size to something like 120 pixels. Let's leave the smoothness to 300% and we want to have the create boundary box ticked. So I can click on create vectors and as you can see as my primary color was red I've got my vector tracing around the heart shape. So I can close this form, drag the contrast bar to see how my vector looks like. And if I'm happy with this, I can select it and export it in the right folder, call this heart vector. You can choose the format you like, I'm going to choose EPS and I'm going to click on save. So I can now create my model. So I can close this down and I don't need to save my changes as I've already exported the vector. So I'm now going to create a new model which is going to be 400 millimeters high, 400 millimeters wide. I want the resolution to be as high as possible. I want the units to be millimeters and my origin to be in the center of the model. So I can click on OK. And this is my model. Now, the first thing I need to do is to import the heart vector I've created previously. So I can go vectors, import, and import heart vector EPS. So as you can see, it's very big. So I'm going to enter the transform tool to resize it. And you can do that by clicking T on your keyboard or by clicking on this icon here. I want to maintain the aspect ratio and I want the width to be 300 millimeters. So I can click on apply. And then I can move this vector to the center of the model either by selecting the origin position in 0, 0 or by simply pressing on this icon that allows me to center this in the model. Like so. So I have my heart shape and the next thing I want to do is to create some text vectors here that say love as you can see in the image. So I'm going to enter the text creator tool and I'm going to choose the font I like the most which in this case is Franklin Gothic Demi. I want the size to be 90 millimeters and I want the character spacing to be minus 40%. So I'm going to write love and I'm going to click on create. Now I want to move these. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to center this in the model and then I'm going to move this upwards by using the arrow keys on my keyboard, like so. So once I've created them, 
I don't want these overlapping sections, so I'm going to select the external vectors, right click and say ungroup all, and then just select them again, so I don't have the internal vectors selected, and I'm going to weld them together, like so. And as you can see, I've got one vector only now. So, the next thing I'm going to do, I don't want any sharp corners here. And I want this text to be slightly bigger. So I'm going to select only the external vector and offset it. So I want a distance of 2 millimeters outwards and I want the corners to be radiused. So I can click on offset and that is the result we get. Now I also want to offset these internal vectors so I'm going to select them both holding my shift key down but I want to offset them by one millimeter only. So I can click on offset and close this form. Now, I'm happy with the result, but the only thing I may want to do is to increase this space here. Because this might cause problems once I go to machine the part. So I can select the vector and turn node editing mode. You can do that by clicking on this icon or by pressing N on your keyboard. Then I'm going to zoom in and select some nodes, like so, and then move them downwards a bit. So obviously we'll have some overlapping problems here, but we can obviously delete these nodes by right clicking on them and say delete node. And then move these. Let's modify this a bit more. Once I'm happy with the result, I can close the node editing tool and go back to my model. So, I'm happy with this and the next thing is to switch to 3D view and start to think about the two paths. So I'm going to show you how we can use inlay tool paths using the basic version of Arkham Express 2015 R2. But the first thing we need to do is to create a profiling toolpath to cut this shape out of our sheet. So I'm going to select the vector, click on toolpath, and select a profiling toolpath. I want to profile along the selected vectors. The finish depth of 20 millimeters. As a profiling tool, I'm going to choose a 6 millimeters end mill. Click on select and I want to add bridge to the start point. Now, as you can see, the bridge is next to this corner of my heart. So I don't want this to create problems once I go to machine the part. So I'm going to close this for a moment, have the vector still selected and enter node editing mode. Now you can see we have several nodes here. What we can do, we can click on any of them and say start node. So this node will become green and we can now do the same we were doing before. So select the vector, profile to path, along, finish depth of 20 millimeters, profiling tool a 6 millimeters end mill, and we can now say that we want my, our bridges to be 10 millimeters long and 5 millimeters thick. So the only thing that's left to do is to define the material. We want it to be 20 millimeters and we want both the model position in the material and the material Z0 to be on top of my block. So I can click on OK and I can click on Calculate now. So you can see the toolpath has been calculated. So I can close this down. But as you can see, the bridge has not been considered. And that's because it's important to click on Apply. So I can right click, say Edit the toolpath. And here I can click on Apply. So you can see that now this has changed. And I can now click on Calculate now. And if I close this, you can see that the tool basically jumps and leaves a 10 millimeters long and five millimeters high gap. 
So if I'm happy with this, I can now think about the inlay toolpaths I want to create. So I'm going to select all of my text vectors and click on toolpaths and choose an inlay toolpath. So the first thing we need to create is a female pocket. In this case, we want the finish depth to be 10 millimeters. We want the finishing tool to be a 1.5 millimeters and mil, but we want to use a roughing tool as well. So I'm going to tick this box and select a 10 millimeters and mil. I can leave the rest of the values as they're set by default. Just need to check that the material is still set to 20 millimeters and I can click on calculate now. So the two paths will be, have been calculated and you can see, let me hide this one. You can see the roughing strategy and then the finishing strategy. So, if I'm happy with this, I can now simulate both of these two paths to see how my shape will look like. So I can right click on two paths and say simulate all. And as you can see, we have the shape we wanted to have. We can modify the material to be a wood, so medium oak. Click on apply and you can see how our plaque will look like. So the last thing we need to do is to create the male insert for my shape here. So I'm going to delete the simulation, display the vectors, and hide all of my toolpaths for now. So I'm going to select the text vectors now, click on toolpaths, go inlay, and select a male straight. So in this case, we have to reset the material to be 12 millimeters thick. I'm going to click on OK. And I want a finish depth of 12 millimeters. We're basically cutting all the way through. And I'm going to choose the same tool I've chosen before for the finishing strategy, which is a 1.5 millimeters end mill. Now it's important that you set a negative allowance now, otherwise the male insert will not fit into the female pocket. So I'm going to say minus 0.1, it will be enough. And in this case, we may want to or we may not want to add bridges to the start point. So I'm going to untick the box and I'm going to click on calculate now. And as you can see, we're cutting all the way through. I'm going to close the form, right click on the new toolpath and simulate it. So as you can see, the part has been cut. And even though we may have wanted bridges, I've unticked the box just to show you the delete waste material functionality available within the simulation of Arkham Express 2015 R2. So I can click on Delete Waste Material. I want to pick it by myself. So I'm going to click on the parts I don't need. So I can just show you how this functionality works. And as you can see, this is exactly what our shape will look like after we have machined the part. So I can now close this down. And if I'm happy with what I've done, the last thing I need to do is to export these strategies. So I'm going to go on Toolpaths and save Toolpath as. Now I want the folder to be the one where I've got all of my material. So I'm going to copy and paste this. I'm going to call this Heart Plug. And you can choose the machine file format you want. I just go for a G code is a standard tab file as a post processed file. And I'm going to save these to separate files, uh, assuming I don't have an automatic tool changer. And I'm going to append the toolpath details to the file names. So as you can see, we have four toolpaths and we will have four different tab files. So if I click on save, we can now browse to the folder and we can see that we have 
four different tab files. So I'm going to right click and say edit with Notepad++ and as you can see we have four different files with four different titles. So as you can see we have inlay pocket 1.5 millimeters end mill finishing, there's the mail insert one, there's the profiling one, and there's the roughing one for the inlay pocket. So this is the G code for the four of them. So this concludes my demonstration in which I've showed you how you can use Arkham Express 2015 R2 to design this plug for Valentine's Day. Thank you very much for watching.